designer friends. This is Lisa Lisa from the Cherry on Top and Creative Design Studio, found in Design Bundles and Design Bundles Plus. I've been making these exploding box cards. They're really super, super simple. This is uh, my newest example. And when I constructed this particular design, I wasn't super crazy about the end result, which is, well, that's what it looks like. That's all the separate pieces. It's so incredibly easy. It looked like this. And I, I didn't particularly care for the mismatchy top and bottom in this particular case. Usually I like it to be different but in this time, in this uh, instance, I didn't particularly care for it, so I thought it would be a great idea and an opportunity for me to show you how you can fix, how you'd be able to fix that using the files that you get in the download. So what you would do is you would go to your finder, and then yours would probably be in the downloads, but mine are right here. Yours would be in the downloads, especially um, originally. And then you would take the items that you don't want or that you want to switch around, for instance. All I want to do is switch them around. I wanted this for my outside and that for my inside. And I had already changed it so that when you purchase it, now you'll get it my way. I also wanted to show you how to do something with the lid. So you'll choose the two that you want to change and you'll open them up. And that's what I did here. This is the first layer. That's going to be that outside layer. And this was an inside layer, but I want that to be the outside layer because it really uh, looks better, I think. I think it looks better. So all you have to do is grab the PNGs because you get PNGs and you get JPGs. I call them pings and JPEGs. <laughs> and then you make sure that it's just the right size, which is really easy to do with these um, with the boxes, as, as you can see. As soon as you see that the box is perfect, this little gray box here, then you know you've got it just right. And maybe you need to use your arrows to nudge and move. But see this box here? It's perfect. And then you will keep that and you will save that. I believe you could also do this very easily, just like I'm doing here in Designscape, which is the software in Plus at Design Bundles. You could do it there too. And that's a free program when you are a Plus member. So there's another bonus. And then you would do the opposite, okay? You would save this. If you want to print it, you would just save it as a JPG or a PNG. It's up to you. Both will probably work just fine. And now you do the opposite. Then you'll go here. And now you want the small one to be this design. So you put that over the top and you just shape it to the size you want. And of course, what you could also do is you could take all the little templates from all the pages. We'll call them pages or layers in this particular case. But you can change them all around. That's the beauty of uh, when someone offers a PNG, it gives you room for customization, which is really nice. Once again, make sure it's perfect. Otherwise, the lid won't fit, right? Okay. Seems like it can go up just a notch. There we go. That's pretty good. And then once again, you'll go to file, and then you'll want to save as, and then yeah, you could either leave it or change it however you want. So that's how you'll do that. And I wanted to show you the lid. I feel like this time I got the lid just right. But when you're playing with exploding box cards, what you might have is if you fill the box with all kinds of photos and elements, maybe a little gift, the box might be a little bit too small and you'll have bulging. This would be a kind of example of bulging. It's, it's really not bulging that much. This is only bulging because I didn't press the fold a little bit. If you have this bulging and you don't like it, it's no big deal. Just take your fold down here and press a little bit with your fingers and then you'll get a really nice edge like here. See, no bulging. And it's the exact same thing. This is empty, so. But what all you have to do is pull up your PNG of the lid and use the corners and just increase the size a little bit. If you only need it a little bit bigger, then just increase it a little bit. If you need it a lot bigger, then increase it a lot bigger. <laughs> but um, a good measure really for uh, the size of the lid, oh, let, let's, oh, I didn't want to do that, hold on, would be to grab that and then take the lid and place it over it. And sometimes what I do is I go to the opacity and then I go like this, and then you could see, see, you could see the line in the lid here very faintly, and you could also see the line on the layer underneath. 
See, there's just a little bit of space, okay? And that's a, a pretty interesting way on how you can do it and how you can get it to fit just right. <laughs> but I often make the lid just a touch bigger so that you have a little more room to play and then you could add photos and give some things to your box. That's it for today. Just thought I'd show you all those really nifty hints and uh, please go and check out all the other exploding box uh, designs, box card designs we've got for Valentine's and I've got a really, really super cool girly graduation one with pink and purple and and leopard prints. It's really fun. So go check out the other Exploding Box cards and many other scrapbooking goodies at Plus at Design Bundles. Happy scrapping!